Okay, with 120 gram to tweak bait, and the other tweak baits for that matter, you can really do a few variations on the retrieve. If you're in open water like that, I was casting out to that channel between the rocks, you let it sink a little bit, depending on how deep it is, and you can crank it through. Give it some hard taps, or lots of little ones, to give it that erratic action. And I keep them at a, a reasonable speed out there, and as you're getting close, and you can keep your eye on it, if you slow it down through the backwash, and just tap it through, because obviously that's where a lot of the big fish can be sitting, just on the inside here, so. So now it's really rocking, I'm just going to slow it down a little bit. And just keep tweaking it through. And that backwash, and if there's anything around, you've got a good chance of a hit then. So I let it drop down for about five or six seconds. some cranks through now. Slow around the edges where there's the backwash. Um, another effective way to cast this uh, twice a tweak. This is a 120 gram version. Is keep the rod tip down, just basically wind and just move the rod tip around a little bit, a few tiny little taps, but just keeping it constantly swimming through with an erratic action it will stay if you want it just I'm gonna have a hit then believe it just below the uh, surface the uh, Jack Craval just smashed at it then but missed it fortunately give it another go around there that's so that's why it's worth changing the action because I just changed the action and then immediately got a hit Yeah, I might just change the colour because they already had a go at it and the fish might, and I've changed colour, might have another go. Okay, so I've changed the 120 gram tweak white one for a mullet. So you had a go at the white one. It's always worth changing. Yeah. Wait, hello. It's something big. Go around those rocks. It's coming around where I need it. Think of where to land it now. I jank without and if you can hear him grunting away there. But don't worry, well, I'm gonna get you back in seconds. <laughs> okay, so yeah. On the tweak bait, I just changed the colour because this one, I think it was the same one, hit um, a few minutes before. So I swapped colours, um, same action, and got it. So yeah, better get him back quick. I'm happy with that. Okay, I'm going to give a few tips on using, especially the smaller tweak baits. The first thing to be using these in surf, so is to cast out. So it's in shallow water, get control of the lure, get tension in the line as soon as you can. And just try to, most importantly, try to keep that tension. So if a wave hits it, wind up the slack, and you can slow down again. As soon as you've got that tension, you know that, that lure's swimming. You can do little taps. But while it's out and it's shallow, make sure you keep that rod tip up. And if it's very shallow and there's rocks poking out, if you're ever in doubt, rod tip high and speed up. With a lot of lures that have beats, that'll just make the lure dig in. But with these, it will bring it to the top, you know, bring it over those rocks. You can bring it in with the rod tip low when you're closer in. If the water's deeper, you can keep that rod tip down the whole time. 
and you pass behind those rocks, and it's really rocky here. There can be fish sitting behind those rocks. Be careful not to cast on them. So I've got the tension, so I'm just tapping it through at the moment. Now there's rocks poking out of the water there. And you can use those waves to bring it over the rocks at the right time. Just try and keep a visual on where that lure is as best you can, following your line. And you can also just splash it through the top if you're not sure, see where it is. That's only going to help make it look, you know, more enticing for those fish. So you can really use this over shallow grounds. I have not lost one of these lures over the shallow ground in the hours and hours I've spent passing here. But fishing like this over shallow reef, uh, once you get used to them, there's, there's really no reason to, um, to lose a lure. So once again, as soon as it hits in shallow, just bring that rod tip up, turn the bail arm over. Just keep that tension, keep tapping, just tapping or little pulls. I wouldn't use the sweeping pulls in shallow areas like this. Not only is it it's not as effective, but it's more chance of losing it while there's the slack. That's more for open, deeper water. And also you can just keep a constant tension with your rod tip down here and just pull like this. It gives a great action through the waves. If you feel that swell biting, or you, you know, you feel it in the current, you can just slow down more. Just get a feel for it, because that lure will be swimming. So now a cross wave's hit it, so just keep that rod tip up a second. Okay, now I can slow down again and just tap it through. So if you're ever in Dow, rod tip up. You can see it on the surface now. Yeah, I know it's safe. So keeping that lure, just below the surface, swimming, occasionally splashing if you like, is the ideal place. Don't try and get the lure any deeper, it's of no advantage at all. Yeah, it's pretty shallow here. They're obviously coming in looking for the mullet. So I've got the mullet colour lure on. Big snake. Decent one. It's a good one. Um, just had one about 10 minutes ago on, or 20 minutes ago, I think, and that one came off just before I landed in it. So I was thinking, oh no, don't come off. You can't see how well it's hooked but it, at the time, but that one's pretty well hooked, but I didn't know that. So as nervous as anything, but um, yeah, really pleased with that one, really pleased. My coat stays on, jumping like crazy. So shallow there. If he stays on, I should be able to get him. Well, it's not a monster, but I'm happy I didn't blank today after I had a swipe a minute ago and I had one on that I nearly landed a fair bit bigger than this, a lot bigger. But anyway, I'm happy with that because I thought it was over, you know, thought there wasn't going to be any more around. It's getting really shallow, so that's a, that's a good, good catch. You can see how shallow it is and there's deep, and there's deep little ledges. Oh, yeah. Come on jumping like crazy but this is a case of land now hope he stays on he's trying to get in those rocks definitely a much harder fight than bassa for the size I would say just to grab that thingy there Oh, it's just lightly hooked now. This is not a bad one. This is a um, good, oh, it's a double figure, I think. It's 
So yeah, I'm pleased with that because it takes the pressure off. It's really brown. Come on. That pays to have good leader here. That's the ledge there, come on. Getting around this side. It's barely hooked now. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get this one out. Well, I definitely thought that one was coming off. First of all, it was hooked in the mouth and with, and with the other hook. And then as we, we went around this other side, I had to bring him around the other side of the rock. I noticed he was only hooked with the uh, back hook on just on the nose. Can't believe it stayed on with the, with the luck I've had with these. So yeah, over the moon, that's two flipping big snook in about an hour. There's all ledges here and these snook are just waiting around those ledges. So I can just ambush these bait fish. Right between those rocks there. Wow. Well, now this one, I thought it's only a smaller one, I think it's going to go around those rocks. Oh, it's jumping like crazy. Oh, it's another one, it's not a, as big as the others, but it's yeah, still nice. Jumped about five or six times this one. I'm gonna try with this, with the mullet. Tweak. Come on, come on. There he goes. He's jumping around. Whew. Let's hope he stays on. Just gonna let him sort of hang around there. It's really shallow reef here. He's on the reef. Should go down in a minute. I can bring him this side now. We've got him on this main reef. The moon with that. Um, so last morning, I've got to go soon. Just came for the last session. I thought it was a bit too big. But um, I got a hit on the enticer minnow because I was trying to get a long way out to a rip. So then I put on this tweet and boom. So yeah, I'm really pleased. It's the lure that did it for me. It's the subsurface tweet 50 gram. 